Hello Cosmic Fam, it's your girl Cosmic Jazz 222 and today I am back with another celebrity reading. This time it is Yes, Nicki Minaj, but we're going to be focusing on her marriage. So before I even explain anything, if you're just new and coming across my channel, hi guys, my name is Cosmic Jazz, I'm a little psychic here on YouTube and I do a variety of readings, I do tarot readings, astrological breakdowns, collective messages, horoscopes, celebrity readings, and even commentaries relating to spirituality, conspiracy, religion, anything that's happening up in the stars. And if you are returning back to my channel, hi guys, welcome back Cosmic Fam, so great for you to be here. So we're going to be looking into Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty, her husband. Um, there's been a lot of speculation that they might be going through a rough patch in their marriage and possibly separation, maybe divorce in the near future. Again, it's all speculation and it's because of how Nicki has been acting um, on social media, the things she's posting, her lives, even some things she has stated during her performances that has gone fans a bit worried so we're going to take a look and to see what's going on if they really are on the rocks if there's something going on or if it's just something she wants to do to get you know the fans riled up or whatever we're going to look into that hopefully this reading isn't too long now just some disclaimers before we begin this is just a reading and anything i say on here is all alleged for entertainment purposes only i'm just going based on what my intuition is picking up through the cards guys so you, that means you do not have to really believe in what i have to say but please do not take it personal and i'm going to be coming to this reading unbiased as possible because i want to respect everybody here everybody i'm reading on and um, if there are some things that I can't say, then I won't say it. Um, I know there's going to be things that won't be revealed to me. And again, we're just being respectful. So there's that. So what I'm going to do first, I want to look into the overall energy surrounding the marriage between the two of them. I believe Kenneth, I'm so sorry, the camera's shaking. I believe Kenny is um, an Aries. And of course, Nikki is a Sagittarius. So we got two fire signs on the table. So let's look into the energy. <clears throat> I just saw two, two, two. So there's something here about needing to rebalance. Okay. So what is the over energy surrounding Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty, their marriage? What's the over energy, the vibes surrounding their marriage? Okay. We got two cars flipping out. We have ego, vanity, and pride. And I'm seeing a clock and mirror here, so that's pretty interesting. I'm getting Saturn specifically, Saturn energy. We also have guarded and vulnerability. What's going on in their marriage? We have regret. Regret showing up in repression. Someone in this marriage is feeling very repressed. I'm not too sure who it is. It could be the both of them or it could be one or the other. And then we have thoughts and isolating. So um, let me stop right here real quick. And the over energy is confusion, oh, Neptune and illusion. And then we have autumn. So we already have a time frame. So from now till fall, so September, I'm seeing August, September, we might be seeing more progression with this. But what I can say so far, guys, um, I think at the moment they are not on good terms. They are in a rocky patch. Now, am I seeing full blown separation? No, it could be one of those moments where they're just not seeing eye to eye. Now, I do feel like when it comes to both individuals, ego does play a role in creating rifts that's what i'm seeing for one and i'm seeing that someone here has been isolating and they have been reflecting and thinking about the past and it feels like whoever this is they are kind of regretting some decisions they made within this relationship that's what i can see so far now it's interesting we have feminine and then we got masculine over here there might be a link between those energies, right? <clears throat> but what I can say is right now, I don't feel like they're really expressing their feelings to each other. I feel like there's a disconnect. There isn't that much communication. And um, someone here feels isolated. Someone feels like they're not being appreciated, loved, or not being understood. That's the first thing I'm picking up. But what I can see here with confusion as the over energy, I am intuitively picking up that something was revealed recently in this marriage again i'm not getting into the actual energies between the two just yet but this is just the relationship itself i feel like some type of illusion was shattered and i feel like someone here is taking off literally the rose tinted glasses it feels like the spark or the honeymoon phase or just like 
this you know when you're in love and you're blinded and no matter what the person does you see the good in them i feel like that perspective is finally fading for either one of them or both of them and now they're starting to see the truth about each other which happens in any relationship right but it feels like somebody's fantasy got shattered recently or will be getting shattered in the near future and i keep seeing with the mirror i keep hearing projection so it could be because somebody's fantasy um someone was projecting their fantasies on somebody else which made them cloud their vision and it can be like trying to see the good in somebody seeing their potential but at the end of the day guys remember when it comes to connections you have to make sure what you're seeing is what you get you know you don't want your pot the potential or the fantasy really blind you for who the person really is so i'm getting that type of scenario playing out as of right now but someone here is definitely regretting something about the connection or what they did so let's get into the actual energies now i do feel like th there is avoidance uh, i do feel like they're sort of avoiding the elephant in the room between each other at the moment but it could also be because of her tour now let's get into <clears throat> the actual relationship so i'm gonna do a dynamic spread so kenny is gonna be on the left nikki's gonna be on the right energy between them in the middle so i want to see the dynamic and what's going on and i'm gonna see if you know this is a full-blown separation happening so show me kenny's energy what's going on in their connection Kenny. Look at us too many cards. Kenny. Okay, we got the Page of Wands reversed. Nikki. Two of Wands reversed. Okay, and then energy between them. Knight of Cups. Okay. And the overall energy is the two of pentacles reverse. So I am seeing one of the major issues is there's not an equal give and take here. Someone feels like they're giving more into this connection or putting in more effort compared to the other person. Now, I would say with the high priestess being at the bottom of the deck, this to me speaks of lack of trust, um, feeling not connected with your intuition. It could even speak of a secret being revealed in some cases. So again, I feel like some type of illusion was, or fantasy was completely destroyed. And someone is literally showing themselves who they really are. And I think whoever this is, the other person doesn't like what they see, okay? But I'm seeing there's there is a major <laughs> lack of trust in this in the connection. Now, why do I say that? Because we have the Page of Wands showing up in Kenny's side. What I can say for this, Page of Wands is usually someone who is not speaking up. Or this can be somebody who is not necessarily telling the truth. This is someone who may say one thing and then they do the complete opposite. Page of Wands reverse can even speak of immaturity. And the fact that this is a fire sign, Kenny is an Aries. So what I can say with this, Kenny, I feel like unfortunately, and this is all alleged, he, is, he does have an aspect here that he is not telling the truth or he's not saying or he's not doing what he's saying. And there is this energy of possibly lying and keeping secrets and not speaking up, not saying anything about what he's doing. OK, now, Nikki is showing up as a two of wands reverse. This speaks of someone who is frustrated, someone who doesn't know if things are going to play out as she wants it. So it feels like Nikki is in this place where she feels like everything is crashing down on her. Now, even though the tour is doing fine, even though her career might be doing fine, when it comes to things that really matter to her, that are personal, which involves family and love and connections, she does feel like things are falling into her face, falling down in front of her. And it kind of feels like, you know, I've been trying so hard. So this is what I'm channeling. It's like, I've been trying so hard with this. But it feels like my efforts were in vain. It felt like I wasted my time. So that's what I'm saying from Nikki's energy. Now, I would say the energy between them is the Knight of Cups. I do feel like they will still try to make things work. And I don't feel like the separation will be instantly if a separation is coming. I feel like, if anything, the first thing they will do is, again, try to make it work. The Knight of Cups is all about an offer. The Knight of Cups is also emotional maturity and trying to grow emotionally with each other so they both are still in it 
for what I can see, but right now they're not on the same page. They're not. And someone here, and I think it's Kenny, he's unfortunately showing up as not being truthful or not saying what he needs to say. And of course, Nikki is getting pissed off by, by that. So let's pull some more cards. So I want to, so that's just the baseline. Now I want to see um, the tower. There's a major avoidance here. They're trying to avoid, well, I can say Nikki. Nikki specifically is trying to avoid a major catastrophe. The tower is when everything you worked for crumbles down because the very fault line, the foundation of it all was not stable. There was cracks in it. And it feels like this foundation Nikki was trying to build with this man, it, she feels like it is falling down. She feels like there's something unstable and it feels like she saw the red flags, but maybe just maybe she avoided or didn't want to acknowledge those red flags when it came to him. And again, she has red flags herself, but I'm seeing based on Nikki's perspective. So I'm seeing avoidance. She's trying to avoid anything bad happening in the connection, but it is difficult, especially with her being on tour. Let me see. Um, so, so is Nikki, let me, let me just ask this. Is Nikki, so I'm gonna put this over here. Is Nikki and Kenya, are they currently separated? And is that is that the reason why she decided to tweet out that? Oh, I'm so sorry. Was that the reason why she tweeted out that one message of being single? Well, I don't, we don't know if it's her saying she's single or if it's like a music thing, but let's see. We have the Three of Pentacles reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So are they separated currently? Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands reverse. Um, okay. Let's clarify. Are they currently separated? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So all of the cards are reverse. I think right now. So I do feel like if. The, okay. Let me just say this. They're not divorced, okay? I'm not seeing a divorce just yet, but I do feel like, again, energetically, from an energetic standpoint, spiritual standpoint, they're not in sync. So yes, there is a bit of a separative energy here. Now, they could still technically be together and be in the same proximity, but energetically, they're not aligned. They're not on the same page. Mentally, they're not on the same page. Um, and the reason why I say this is because we have the Three of Pentacles reverse. This is all about collaboration, working as a team. It's reverse, so this means they're having so much difficulty working as a unit, and I'm seeing them kind of doing their own thing. Nicki Minaj, she's showing us the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Right now, her career is her priority. Okay, that stability, but that seems to be contributing in some way. I feel now with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, I'm seeing inconsistencies, and then the Ten of Wands reverse. This is all about um, releasing a burden. So I think right now. This is what I'm getting. I feel like they may be te technically taking a bit of a break, you know, they're not, but they're not going to say anything. And I think it's to help Nikki focus on the focus on her career and focus on the tour. But this is impacting her on emotional level. So we're going to start to see glimpses of this trickling out in the way she tweets or the things she posts and when she goes on live or if she says something. All this is subliminal. It will first off start off as subliminally. And I'm even seeing with the Three of Cups reverse, the Eight of Wands, there's a slowdown. And I'm Three of Cups, this is all about isolation. And then Eight of Swords, feeling stuck. So I do feel like there is something here of them not being on the same page. So, um, but let me see, was that tweet connected in some way? Let me see. Was that tweet she made connected to her marriage or was that more music? So I'm going to do marriage and then music. What's the point of that tweet? Okay, so this is for the marriage. And then what about the music? Was it connect to music? My ring is coming. It's crazy. My ring was trying to slip off. That's a sign. <laughs> that never happens. Usually this is really stable. Okay, what about music? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too many cards. Got three of pentacles reverse. No, it th you know what's so crazy, guys? I I felt like this that tweet was regarding her marriage. 
that's what I think based on the cards because the Queen of Swords, this is somebody who is cold, but this is a woman who is speaking. Okay, she is making some form of declaration. That's what I'm getting with the Queen of Swords. I am making a point here. Now, on the music side, I was asking, well, was that tweet dealing with music? Three of Pentacles reversed. That's literally the work, workspace. I don't feel like that tweet had anything to do with music. I think it was literally relating to her marriage or like where she's at mentally, which is interesting. But I think what I would say over energy is the, the high priestess reverse. The thing about Nikki, she speaks in metaphors, okay? She doesn't come at things directly if she doesn't want to. So I felt like she just did that to get us a bit confused. I think this was pretty calculated on her end. Um, that's what I'm seeing with the Queen of Swords. You can interpret it in different meanings, and I think that's what she wanted us to do. So, but I think the main the, the main point of that tweet was, yes, something's going on with her marriage. That's what I feel. Okay. So, let's see. Um... Now, I want to see, like, where this will lead. You know, will they actually separate and get a divorce? Now, I'm going to leave my opinion towards the end. But, you know, since they are a family, I just hope things play out for the best for both ends, for both everybody involved. But let's see. So, will Nikki, will they, let's say, let's say like this. Will they be able to work through this and fix things? In their marriage or will things lead to a divorce what's the outcome of this again my ring is trying to come off so I, yeah okay these two want to come out and they flipped out we have the star reversed we have the world reversed we have the judgment card reversed And then we have the Magician. Over Energy is the Two of Swords. Um, and then the Nine of Swords. So here's what I would say. The outcome of this connection. Do I feel like this thing was meant to last? No. I don't believe this marriage was supposed to last. Um, but I think this was supposed to teach her a major lesson. Even him. I feel like this is more of a karmic connection than anything. Now, I know there is such thing as karmic soulmates or karmic twin flames. The point is there is heavy lessons connected to this marriage between Nikki and Kenny. And what's so interesting is I mentioned something about Saturn at the beginning of this video. And Saturn is literally all about karma, time, restrictions, and major lessons that shape us into better people. So I do feel like that is kind of the premise of this connection unfortunately now the fact that the over energy is the two of swords this is all about hesitancy need to make a very difficult decision but this ultimately means being closed off and separating that's what the two of swords represent the star reverse can speak of bad attention okay so here's what i would say i feel like if they were to separate this will make the news Everybody's going to be talking, and I actually feel like it might get ugly, okay? Um, I feel like there's multiple people in here that it, that are influencing this or will influence this. The Star Reverse speaks of lack of hope, but also bad attention, like I stated. And, you know, Nikki is a star. She's considered a celebrity with star power, artist. And I'm seeing that this is going to garner a lot of negative attention. Everybody's going to be talking about this if they were to separate, but the question is, will they? Is this where it's leading? Based on the spread, I don't think this is going to last, guys, unfortunately. And this is all alleged. Hopefully, I'm wrong. But this this is a likely outcome. The world reverse speaks of a repeated cycle. It also means something has to end. Something needs to come to a close because obviously a lesson isn't being learned in here. So like I stated, this is again tying into the fact that this connection is heavily karmic the world card is even ruled by the planet saturn capricorn and it's all about wrapping everything up and understanding the lesson in all of this aquarius is also ruled by you know saturn and aquarius rules over the star the judgment card reverse speaks of lack of support so again it feels like even if they wanted to and i see them they're going to continue to try at least but it just feels like the way things are the timing 
and the energies that are influencing all this is there's no support it won't this connection will be sustaining at all and then we have the magician which is all about trying to make something happen um the magician also speaks of communication what i would say guys there's heavy mercury energy in this i feel like a lot of people will be talking social media will be up in a frenzy even if nikki wanted to she wouldn't be able to keep this a secret okay i feel like things will just be blasted unfortunately and um i'm actually seeing this is all like major arcanas too so yeah this will be a very big deal um I feel like there's going to be a lot of rumors, a lot of gossip, but somebody in this connection will be speaking out. I don't feel like the separation would be peaceful at all, though. And that's kind of unfortunate to see. Let me just clarify. But no, I'm getting a no. I don't think this is going to last. Eventually, and the fact that we have um, all these major arcanas, yeah, the, eventually it's going to lead to some form of separation, allegedly. So I'm getting, I keep seeing Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. I'm seeing those signs. I'm seeing Gemini as well. Okay, I keep seeing Leo. Leo, and I'm seeing the full moon in Aquarius. That That's in Leo season. So I'm not sure if that's July or August. I think I said something like this in my previous video, but um, Two of Swords, again, yeah, it's still coming out. The outcome, so what's the outcome? Two of Pentacles. The thing about Nikki, she's going to try until she literally can't take it no more. And even then, she will still try. One thing about Nikki, she is loyal. But unfortunately, when I'm picking up from her energy, she's loyal. She tends to be loyal to the wrong people. And I think this is factoring into the major lesson I was picking up on in my other readings of her. She is learning a major lesson in regards to understand the company you keep and mind the company you keep because who you think is really in your corner may not be in your corner at all there's something about her trusting too easily i'm saying and being so loyal but yet not receiving that energy back in return and that makes her appear scorned and really hurt this is a lesson she's been dealing with in her entire life and i feel like unfortunately this marriage is another lesson of that Hopefully, she can pick up on that, but yeah. Okay, that's too many cards. Will this last? The Knight of Swords. I'm seeing something's about to come out. Um, the Ace of Wands. She's going to try her hardest. Like I stated, I don't think they're going to separate or divorce right away. There is going to be some time, okay? They're going to go back and forth, back and forth, trying to work fall out try to make it work fall out but i think eventually it it's just gonna fizzle out that's what i feel now i do feel like if they were to separate i think the music is going to be there i think it's going to help with her creativity but i mean i don't want to look at it that way I, I really don't let me see so will they make it just want to make sure extra double check that queen of swords i keep seeing her trying Ooh, hold up i'm getting some another message i'm getting another message um mm. okay guys so i think at the end of the day i think nikki i feel like nikki will be the one to make that final say but i'm picking up on another energy like i stated i feel like unfortunately this may not last but when that time does come i don't know when that time's gonna come Okay, I'm not going to sit here and try to predict that because it can be, it could be this year, it could be next year, it could be in two years. The point is the energy is still here. What I would say, there is a feminine here, Queen of Swords. She's a little bit ruthless. I don't know who this is. Um, we have the Page of Swords reverse. This is somebody who is immature or they come off as immature, but this is all about gossip, speaking really badly and saying really cruel things and then we have the seven of wands which is all about protecting your energy this feels like somebody might use something against her um let me let me look more into this let me get another card okay
this feels like somebody in the industry oh gosh yo so like i said she's gonna try her best to make this work but when it if it does fall apart let me just say that if it does fall apart somebody is going to use this as ammo mm -hmm. and it's kind of like hitting her when she's at her most vulnerable that's what i'm feeling i don't know who this is yeah it's like she's trying to heal but this person's going to like put salt into the wound that's what i feel and they have information or they will receive information about this nine of swords yeah it's to it's to get at her mentally ten of swords so when this person takes a jab at her it's going to be very painful yeah the devil card reverse negativity oh yeah whoever this is i'm not sure if this is another rapper or this is somebody else in like the music industry or somebody's gonna say this online but what i can say this this whole debasco it, fiasco i don't know what, what the word is they're gonna use it against her and it feels it feels very vengeful so yeah yeah they're gonna make try to make money off of it okay so yeah we she might get dissed and somebody might bring up her marriage okay yeah and it, it's a it's a feminine she could have heavy capricorn placement so saturn placement so even aquarius this is an air sign or capricorn which is um an earth sign but this person they're they don't like nikki at all they don't <laughs> so mm, okay wow okay that's that's really sad like i mean to see that it, it feels it feels like it's coming like the time is about to come but i want to look at the shadow aspects and see like what's causing this rift so let me do kenny kenny again nikki on the with the right and the energy between them let me see what shadow aspect is kenny dealing with that's affecting the marriage we have apathy interesting rejecting my shadow so this is his side Ooh, child not the parasite parasitism showing up in his energy too okay so what about nikki what shadow aspects is nikki dealing with I can't make this I can't make it up y'all what did I say it's like she goes above and beyond for those she love which I mean we can we can expect that and then we have cross not to bear it's interesting that Nikki is having um cr like cross messiah imagery so this is talking about her like literally sacrificing herself for other people okay what about the energy between them Energy between them. Codependency. And then wow, okay. So yeah, they're they're codependent on each other. And I'm seeing like there was this this energy of desperation. Like they basically came together or they have something that both of both of them want. Okay. So that's like one of the main reasons that they're still glued together. But let's start with Kenny. This man does not have any feelings um he seems to be very apathetic very much like unaware but even this is kind of tying into him not understanding the repercussions of his actions or thinking about how others would feel if he were to do something so i feel like that's what nikki has been dealing with he does when he gets angry for example or if he does something he doesn't think about how others will be impacted by it that's what i'm getting and i feel like this is connecting to the fact that he doesn't take accountability that's what i'm seeing with rejecting my shadows and notice how for both cards, the, I think this is the um, five stages of grief and then the seven daily sins. So I made these cards. It's denial. So he's battling denial or dealing with denial. Like he denies that he's doing something. And that ties back to the original spread. Page of Wands reverse. He can say one thing and do the complete opposite and not say anything and be secretive, denying things. Oh, I didn't do it. Or no, you're crazy. You know, gaslighting. But he has no like sympathy for people. That's what I'm feeling from his side. And it's because he doesn't take time to reflect. He doesn't think about his actions, you guys. And I feel like that's one of the major reasons why Nikki is showing up as sacrifice. She's always the one trying to take accountability. She's always the one trying to fix things. And she's always the one going above and beyond to care for people. But she ends up self-sacrificing herself in the process. Okay. And because of this, she has sacrificed so much for the connection you can even argue it could be her reputation she's sacrificed um 
her truly getting what she deserves as a sacrifice. You know, we can all speculate, but she's acting like this messiah. It's, you know what I'm getting? It's like she's trying to fix him or she's trying to like get him to align with what she sees as his potential. But what she sees isn't his potential. It doesn't align with who he should really be because he doesn't want to do the work. So we got somebody who doesn't want to do the shadow work. We got somebody who is doing too much shadow work. And it's like, there's an imbalance here. And it creates codependency. So that's that's what they're dealing with. And obviously, when the connection is in this energy, it's not going to last in that sense, unless both parties are in agreement. Nikki seems to be the one that's truly present in the connection, if I'm going to be honest. Okay. So let me see. Um... Look, I just split the deck. We got gossip, scandal, and the truth. There, I'm telling you, and I picked this up in my previous reading, and that's when I was cut off, but there is a scandal coming in regards to their connection. Um, this could be the start of it. But we're going to hear more information coming out. Someone is somebody's getting some type of information from somebody. Let me let me look into this. What else to come for their connection in the near future? Is there a, is there a scandal coming out? We have spiritual gifts. We have wealth and riches. So this feels like Nikki's energy. Um, Nikki is picking up on something that is off within the connection. Let me see. We have enjoying the present moment and then gangsta. That's crazy that this card showed up. Okay. She's trying to be as optimistic as possible. She's really trying, but again... This literally speaks of their current connection, but let me see what else. Down low. We have talking. Didn't I say somebody's gaining information? So somebody here is talking on the low, like on a down low. That's what I'm seeing. Who is who's doing this? Pressure and anxiety. And depression. Is it him? Who is talking? Love child. Um, can I um I got a question, guys, because I, I don't I really don't know his business. Does Kenny does he have another child? Does he have like a baby mother? Or like a ex ex-wife? Or not ex-wife. I don't know. I don't know the man's business. An ex that he shares a child with because I feel like something's going on here. We got spiritual warfare. Is he speak? He's speaking to somebody. This yeah. This is not Nikki's energy. We have wish and manifest. Hold on. What is going on here? Karmic feminine. Yo. Okay. So here's what I'm picking up. Kenny is connected to a karmic. There's a karmic feminine in his energy. We have options. Um, and I feel like he's spilling something he's not supposed to be spilling. Or this is going to be happening in the near future. Yeah, his true colors is going to come out soon. And it's regarding Nikki's info. Like I said, guys, he I, I, he's not trustworthy. Cheating and can't. Yeah, that's him. It's him. So let me just say this. Um, Kenny is not loyal. He is someone you need to have one eye open on, okay? You cannot convince me that he's loyal. You can't. I feel like he said, like I said, he says one thing, he does the complete opposite. Or he has little discussions in the background, but he doesn't say anything to your face. I feel like he says something or he will be saying something he shouldn't, and it might be to the wrong person. I feel like one of them is a karmic feminine that he's been connected with or he's still connected with. Or maybe this is somebody... He is, there, there's this loyalty here. Now, I'm not sure if it's actual physical cheating, but there, there is something here about him being sneaky, being very sneaky. It's like seven, seven of swords energy. Um, I wouldn't trust him if I were Nikki. We have ghosting. And I, it feels like at times he doesn't talk to Nikki. Um, he will give her the silent treatment if he's upset with her. But he he feels like, you know, Nikki is his twin flame. He feels like they have a divine connection, but he's in karmic energy. He's in karmic energy. So 
We have debt. There's something about money here. Friends. Karmic debt. So I'm getting something about karmic debt. Or this could be actual debt. I'm seeing a water sign coming through. Yeah, and then we have karmic. So, so he's connected to a... There's a karmic he's still dealing with, guys. That's that's really unfortunate. And we got growing in circles. He 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 has this person on the side. And if it feels like either Nikki never knew about this, but she's about to. And I feel like she's been feeling spiritually because Nikki has some gifts. I, I know for a fact, but she's been feeling this. Yeah, she's about to receive evidence. I just in the mirrors. There's a, there's something being projected, okay? Yikes. I didn't know this was this was going on. Okay, so here's here is my prediction. Wow, well, look what just popped out. Separation, breakup, tracking, coworkers. Hold on. Is he okay? So I feel like he's talking to people he shouldn't be talking to. Who is this? Co-workers, people that are in the same industry as Nikki. One of them could be, again, somebody he used to deal with. Or this is, it's like they're keeping tabs on Nikki and it's through him. And now I'm seeing a separate, so this is, okay. So if they were to separate, he's going to be spilling the beans. He will. And it's to get back at her if they were to separate. I'm telling you the separation, if they were to separate, it's not going to be a, a clean one at all it won't this man's gonna give her hell i can say that for a fact i don't like i, I really personally i don't like it but um mm. okay so the, here's my prediction let me just wrap everything up i predict that they're gonna try to work it out um they're not in a good head space with each other at the moment but they're gonna try it's gonna be a back and forth but i feel like eventually Nikki might have enough of this and they might go through separation according to the energy now and I feel like Kenny will be spilling the beans I feel like he's already sort of spilling the beans to the wrong person but he may not be conscious of it and I think that's how these leaks are coming out you know people gaining info people are literally tracking what Nikki is doing and tracking her dirty laundry and unfortunately he knows too much so if I were Nikki, I would truly keep an eye on him. I'll be careful. I'll be really careful if I were her. Okay. So, um, should I do the ratchet? Yeah, let's do the ratchet deck. And then I'm going to end off the reading. But I do feel like something will happen July, August, around the full moon in Aquarius. Because I keep seeing Aquarius energy. And I'm seeing like the full moon. So, and something getting revealed so i i feel like july we might hear something so let's see what else any final messages for nikki we got ascension higher vibration we have family we have doctor interesting we have the truth like i stated nikki is going to try her best to make this work for the sake of her family. And I think for the most part, she has good intentions with this. But the truth is going to come out. You know, you can't fix you can't fix other people. They have to fix themselves. And instead of fixing others, you have to fix yourself first. So I think that's the message for her. I think that's one of the lessons she's learning, you know. Let me see. Bad luck. Yeah, she Nikki feels like she's experiencing some form of bad luck. Again, she's still like doing fine with her career, but everything else, yeah. From the arrest, you know, from the arrest to this and you know, other things. So I'm saying, what is this pregnancy? Main character. Did she mention something about pregnancy? I don't know. Or there there's a focus on motherhood. I'm seeing a focus on motherhood with that, and it always and forever. So, and then we got bad investment as the underlying energy. That's crazy. So, that's what I'm seeing, guys. Um, she, like I said, she's going to try, but I just feel like the this this is one of those connections that ran its course. And it's only a matter of time until something happens. But 
I can only hope for the best. Hopefully, I'm wrong. You know, this can change. Absolutely, this can definitely change. But, you know. So, there's that. So, that's what I have for you guys. Now, this next section of the video, I don't want to make this too long. But, this is my opinion on this. So, again, this is her marriage. Um, this is her decision. Whatever she needs to do. But, I feel like what I personally noticed throughout the years i felt like ever since she got with kenny this is just my opinion guys so again you have no you do not have to agree with me at all i'm just like then this has nothing to do with my reading okay but i just personally noticed when she, ever since she got with kenny i did notice a change in her demeanor and i noticed a change in her energy and when i you know if you follow me on instagram i always have my lives and I always talk about the importance of healing and the importance of understanding who you keep as company I always stated this to my clients and to people I do lives with. Your partner, who you choose, choose as a partner, can really make or break you, okay? They can even, you know, bring blessings into your life. They can do that, elevate you in many ways, or they can just have everything crash down in front of you, everything you work so hard for. And again, I don't know Nikki personally, this is just my interpretation of the cards, right? I don't know him personally, but we can't deny that there has been a shift in her energy. You know, she's not the Nikki we used to know. And granted, people change, right? But if you don't have the right partner or the right people around you, there's always going to be something happening, something that's inconvenient, something that blocks you. Um, always feel like there are odds stacked against you. And I do unfortunately feel like and it's my opinion, you know, it's because of him. It's because of his energy. And I don't feel like he necessarily brings any good to her life. I mean, yes, we got Papa Bear. That's a blessing, right? But we can see his track record. We can see, like, he's always getting to something. And it's always Nikki trying to clean up his image. And it's embarrassing, you know. it's em I bet she does feel embarrassed by dealing with that. So... Just to end this off, guys, make sure you love yourself to the point where you know what you deserve, you know what you can tolerate, and you know what you don't tolerate. And understand that the people around you, you need to understand who they are. You need to understand their true intentions and not create this false image of them based on your desires of them, based on the good you see in them. Because that persona, that, that fantasy that you have built is not real at the end of the day. If they show you time and time again that they're one way and they have a pattern, that's who they are. People can change, but if they're choosing not to change, guys, that's who they are. And you have to see reality for what it is. Nikki is not the only woman or the only artist in the industry that is dealing with a partner who is constantly in this karmic pattern of betrayal and, you know, you know, not truly being who they are. Other people are going through it. Many people, average Joes, are going through it, okay? I'm pretty sure some of you guys might have dealt with people like that, right? So just keep that in mind. At the end of the day, do what's best for you. But that's what I felt about this. Um, again, I hope they do work it out. I hope things play out beautifully. And I hope all parties heal and I hope everything works out in everybody's favor. But, you know, it's up to her. It's up to her how this plays out at the end of the day. But I do feel like there's a scandal coming. We're going to hear some things. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's be respectful because I, I know some of the stands be going crazy. Not just the stands, but like even other fan bases. Let's be respectful, guys. Okay, because at the end of the day... It's not our lives, it's theirs. <laughs> and we don't need to get all triggered about um, what other people do. We don't. But yes, we can share our opinion. But let's be respectful. And um, do you agree with what I, you know, picked up on? That Was I on point? Do you think otherwise? You know, let me know. And you can also let me know who you want me to read next. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.